Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today it is our episode 2 on our Streamlit series. And today in this video we are going to look at how to use our textual functions inside our Streamlit. These functions are some inbuilt functions which are readily available in our Streamlit to style our particular text and also increase our their sizes too. And without any further ado, let's jump into our text editor and let's get started. And now let's look at the other text functions. So before that, firstly, let's shoot our terminal and connect it to our streamlet. So let's open the command prompt and then my file is stored in my desktop and then I will run my streamlet so streamlet space run and in which I will type my file name that is app.py and let's press enter and now here you can see that this streamlet web application is opening in my chrome browser and now let's look at the text functions so firstly let's erase this line and now the first function we are going to look at is the text function which helps us to write some textual message in our streamlit web application so st.text in which i will type the message hey there this is our text and let's save this and let's press always rerun over here and here we can see that we got the text hey there this is a text and now let's create an another one so st dot text and in which this is me and let's say this and here we can see that this is me is also printed now and now we can also use the format strings over here so let me comment this out and now let's use dot format and in which I will pass Adit so let's save this oops and now here we can see that we got the textual data this is Adit and now we can also automate it so let's take a variable a and in which I will pass tree ram and instead of Adit here we can pass our variable a and let's save this and now here we can see that we got the text this is tray down and now we have other functions such as the headers too so let's say header and st dot header and in which we can pass in a message this is a header and let's say this and here we can see that the header text here and we can also create some subheaders so subheader and in order to create a subheader we use the function subheader so st dot subheader and in which i will pass this is a subheader and let's say this and here we can see that the size has been decreased and also we have another function named the title so which helps us to give the title message so st dot title and in which we can pass this is a title and now let's save this and here we can see the bold title message and we can also use markdowns uh, like how we use in our Jupyter notebook so mark down in order to create a markdown we use the function markdown so st dot markdown and in which we will pass this is a markdown and when we run it oops and now when we run this out here we, we can see that this is a markdown test and we can also increase the size by how we use the particular markdown text in our Jupyter notebook so we can use two hashtags over here and now here we can see that the size has been increased 
and we can also use one hashtag to increase the size and this works in a similar way and now let's see how these texts work in the backend so in order to check for that you just press ctrl shift i and now here you got the script and also you can use the right click and you can use inspect over here and now click this particular select an element option and now choose for this text and first you have to click this here and here we can see the style this is the width and this is of 693 pixels and here is our textual data and when we click on the inspect method also we can get all the necessary values and for here we can see that every header text is of the h2 size like when you have read the basics of html and css you can understand this and also this is an h3 header size and this title is an h1 header size and as we have used the one hashtag in our markdown function and this is by default also comes out to be an h1 header size and yeah now let's move on to our editor so and now we are going to look at how to create some colorful text so colorful text and now the first text is something like a green colored one in order to print that we will use the function success so st dot success oops cc and we will type in the message hooray and now let's run this out and here we can see that a uh, green color colorful text has been popped out and now in order to create an orange one we can use st dot warning and you can type this is this is a warning and now let's save this and you can see here that we got an orange text message and we can also get a blue one in order to do that we will use the function info and you can share an info here advice and let's save this and here we got a blue color text message and finally a red one in order to do that we will use the function error so error and in which you made a mistake and now let's save this and here we got it and lastly we have a superior function which is named as the right function which we will use at many instances and let's the function name is right function and it is the superior one so the superior and now let's look at how it works so st dot right and in which we can pass you are on earth and now let's save this and here we got the text message and this right function not only is useful for this and with the help of our right function we can also use the markdowns so now let's save this and here you can see that the size has been increased or also you can use a single hashtag and now here you can see that we got a title message here and we can also use uh, some codes like how we use print function in our python so like how we use print 1 plus 2 and this will print out the value 3 in our code editor and in the similar way we can use our write function too so st dot right i will pass 100 into 99 and now let's say this and here we got the output and also we can create data frames using our write function too so let me show you in for that we have to import our, our pandas package so here i will go and import pandas as pd and now and now let's name it creating a data frame and this is for an example but we will look at uh, deeper 
in the next videos and so st dot write we can use our data frame function so pandas dot data frame and in which we will pass a dictionary over here so my first column would be name and in which i will have two rows they are Adit and the second row is Sriram. So we also have a particular full-fledged pandas tutorial. Do check it out. The link is in the description and you can also look at that using the I button over here. And now let's come back to our topic. And the second column I will create is the age. And the second column I will create is the age and in which I will pass two values. They are 17 and let's say 18 and now let's save this and here we can see that a particular data frame has been created and that's why we call our write function as a superior one than the other functions but still we categorize our write function into the textual functions and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video Thanks for watching, like the video, leave a comment down below and let's meet on July 1st with our episode 3 and stay tuned.